And security expert Katch Ononuju now joins us as we discuss the implication of this latest move by the US, UK and Australia. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much for having me. So while, um, while Australia, or sorry, rather China, wasn't mentioned directly, um, the three leaders did refer repeatedly to regional security concerns. But analysts seem to think that this um, is directed at China. I, I just want to ask if you share the same um, opinion or view that this is really targeted at China. Well, it is suspected. Because the new estimate in the United States tells them that the Chinese represent their most existential imagined threats. And that's why you're seeing the upgrade in Korea. Korea has already said that it will now commit to spending its own money. And the Chinese are now very happy with sort escalation in the Korean Peninsula. So, what America has done is to get Australia and the United Kingdom to join the U.S. 7th Fleet, which remains the biggest navy in the Pacific Rim. The 7th Fleet, together with the, of course, uh, uh, the goodwill of the Australian government and the goodwill of the United Kingdom, uh, that means you now have something very similar to NATO, taking this Pacific Strait much, much seriously than it was before. And it's all targeted at the rising strength of China. Whether you like it or not, China is the new Russia. And that's how America will continue to deal. It has simply forced the escalation of uh, the same thing which you did in the Middle East using Israel against those in poor. We're its enemy today. Escalation of strength to force the Koreans to really spend more to defend. We are waiting when Taiwan will also join this. But the Taiwanese will not be there very quickly so that you do not you know, excite uh, any crisis from within China itself. That will be the very last part of it. But bringing the United Kingdom and the Australians on board, the intentions and duties of the Pacific 7th Fleet simply tells you the United States has formally told the world now mm. that its official biggest adversary in that place and on Earth is the Chinese People's Republic. And what is quite interesting is, is that you mentioned that China is the new Russia. And we know how um, the global community views Russia in terms of um, security, whether well, cyber security or, or military um, security. But let's look at how, um, talk to us about how you think China positioned itself as the new global threat. me yes i can hear you yes come again please um uh, my question was talk to us about how you think china positioned itself um as the new global threat now replacing russia well it is natural it's been going on the chinese have now grown to become the second most powerful economy on earth and you know due to the competition it does bring against the United States. The United States has now decided to see China for what it is. It's not just a new economic threat. It is a new superpower. It's a real threat in its own right. So the United States is now upgrading its intentions towards China. You could say its reactions towards China. And in doing that, it's also bringing its friends along. The strongest friends it has there is the old power that gave up Hong Kong after holding Hong Kong for 100 years, and that's the United Kingdom. The other one is the other cousin of the United Kingdom within the Pacific Rim, which is Australia. So the two of them have come on. Don't be surprised to see other people like New Zealand and whoever it is that has support, even including Japan, even including the switching on of the U.S. capacities and facilities at Okinawa to also be targeted towards the Chinese threat. It is now game on. China is officially the new Russia.
while it is game on, let's look at the, the three countries in this part. There is UK, US, and Australia. Australia seems to be the biggest beneficiary of this part. I mean, it is going to get um, a nuclear-powered um, submarine. But let's not also forget that China is Australia's largest trading partner. Uh, what do you think that this will mean for Australia? Well, Australia has no... Australia has no... No, no uh, 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 strength. It has no autonomy in this issue. Australia, don't forget, historically, is a United Kingdom outpost in the Pacific Rim. And since historically, wherever the U.S. goes, the special relationship with the United Kingdom forces the United Kingdom to come along. So now, the U.K. has come along, and of course, the U.K. has also brought its cousin, Australia, to the party. What you're now looking at to actually be called proper escalation is when Japan joins, and of course, when the U.S. outpost in Japan at Okinawa becomes part and parcel of its strategic game within the Pacific Rim. I do not see any problem in that. Don't forget, the U.S. 7th Fleet remains the most powerful name in that place. It's been there now for over 100 years. If you put the strength of the 7th Fleet and try to compare that to the capacity of all the nations in Asia put together, the 7th Fleet is still far more powerful. So it has nuclear submarines, frigates, and everything. So I think what you've seen is after the departure of the United Kingdom from the Yangtze River and the Yellow River region, the United States has formally now signified that it wants to become the new superpower within the Pacific Rim. Uh, I, I speak about this because I personally suffered this when I was living and working in Hong Kong. Uh, when anything about Americans and I look like the Americans, and the Chinese were not very comfortable with me when I was in Kowloon. So that this has finally come to fruition simply tells you that the Americans were very correct to stay there, to build up the seventh fleet, and to also bring its partners onto this particular game. I am not surprised for this escalation. It's been expected. It's inevitable. It is game on. China has um, responded um, with a statement from his foreign ministry spokesperson. We'll see how China responds in terms of action in the coming days. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on this security expert catch on Onuju. Thank you for having me.